Pinduch on his way to the ring here. Got to walk over against Sierra Leone's Tambor Sorga in his and, uh, opening round. Inexperienced at top international level, so this is a big, big step up, step up for him. Toltaev, 2020 Kazakhstan national champion and 2017 Asian youth champion. The year before that, silver at the World Youth Championship. So he's looking to try and make an impact on the world senior scene for the first time, really. 21 years old. It's Pidnutch, though. These are two young fighters with something to prove here. They've got the opportunity with their national federations to come to world championships. And both of them with the opportunity now to see if they can make it through to the round of 16. They'll be up against Duvan Zaleta. In the next round, should they manage it? So Pidnutch of Thailand in the red, Tolteyev of Kazakhstan in the blue. start to this one by both of these two frenetic opening minute plenty of punches being thrown right hand just pulled there by Pidnuch he's the one for the most part he's been on the front foot here Tolteyev using that kind of outer circle right hand to the body I think there from Pidnuch landed Tolteyev that time just held his feet slightly, turned back in and looked to meet Pidnuch. Fired off the one two, right hand there from Tolteyev. I think got through midway through the round. He's thrown a hell of a lot of shots here, Pidnuch. Some have landed, some haven't. Some have hit gloves or forearms, some have missed, and that's always tiring for a fighter. Good combination there though from Pidnuch. Had a good 10 second spell, then Tolteyev came back with a couple of his own. from Tolteyev just about got through then good upper body movement from him just rolled to his left and rolled to his right got out of trouble the body there from Tolteyev, it was dug in nicely. Well, the volume came there from Pidnuch. I think the probably the slightly cleaner and therefore better punching was from Tolteyev. 
It's just the way I looked at it. And Tolteo gets it with four out of the five judges. Pinlucci was relentless. He was always coming forward. And at times he did cut off the ring relatively well, but a lot of what he threw did miss or hit gloves or hit forearms. Some good work. That straight right hand, then rolled off to the right, rolled back to the left, Ridley through left hand. Good jab off the back foot there from Tolteev. Same again from Pidnuch, looking to get all over a Tolteev here, right to the body, trying to switch it. Up the middle with the uppercut. <laughs> referee just talking to Todd Taylor about pinning the arm there of Pidnuch. from Tolteev. Left hand followed by right there from Pidnuch. We've got through, just dips to his left and throws the right hand over the top there, Tolteev. Again, this is a terrific round to watch. He's staying quiet for, for most of it because picking out individual punches here is well, it's almost impossible because they're throwing so many of them. It's best just to sit back and enjoy it. And just turning around each other, never far away from each other, almost always within punching range. And the work rate has been phenomenal from both of them. Closing seconds of round two. Pidnuch goes to the body with the right hand. Good combination to finish the round, then dips off to his left, lands a good solid right hand. And then a right into the body as well. Well, he needs this second round with the judges there, Pidnuch. And he's got a good, good chance of getting it, I would say. Finished the round strong. I thought he was a bit more accurate in that round, the red corner. He didn't slow down, but he maybe just kind of settled, if that makes any sense, because he just picked his punches better. And four out of five judges go for him. So what we've got there are three cards of 19, 19, one 20 points to 18 for Pidnuch and one 20 points to 18 for Toltaev. So, well, it's in the balance. That's as even as he gets. One card apiece and three level. So they both need to convert two of those three cards into a win and they go through. So this is perfectly, perfectly poised. Pidnuch of Thailand in the red, Toltaev of Kazakhstan in the blue. And this is up for grabs. Maybe the momentum slightly with Pidnuch because he's got the better of that second round. Right to the body there from Toltaev.
jab from Pidnuch. It was decent, just knocked the head back there of Tolteev. Side. The referee gets in and orders break there. And that's pretty much to keep the head up and the same thing of the Tazak. Both just landing right hands as they broke apart there. Tolteev just trying to push. Pidnuch back a little bit, nice uppercut on the inside, big right hand over the top. That just caught Pidnuch standing a little bit tall. You saw the head just jolt back there as that landed pretty much slap bang on the forehead. Midway through the round, just past the midway point of the round. I can't even really see any damage there. A little bit of blood on the bottom lip, I think. Tolteev looked to try and step on Pidgeon straight away, but he threw the one-two. Stopped him in his tracks. And we're in for a grandstand finish here because there's not much to pick between these two heading into the final minute. I thought early on in the round, Pidgeon kind of picked up where he left off and was doing well. But in more recent times, it's been Tolteev, particularly with that big right hand over the top. And... This might just come down to who wants this more in the final minute, who can hold their technique together a little bit better, find those gaps, just be a touch more accurate. Pidnuch looking for the, the right hand up the middle for the uppercut. Tolteev with a slightly weary look about him there, but then rolls off to his right, throws the left hand, works the body. Falls in behind the right hand there, Tolteev, and ends up with the gloves on the floor. So they'll be wiped off. That gives them both a, a few seconds respite into the final 20. Right hand there from Tolteev, a, a similar kind of cuffing right from Pidnuch. Ditch a big right hand over the top, there goes the belt. That was a great fight. That was a really, really good fight. And I'm not sure who's going to come out on the right side of that. They both had one card apiece going into the final round. Three scorecards level. So they both need to take two out of those three. You can tell that neither one really knows because there were no great celebrations from either corner. And I'm absolutely on the fence there. If if I had to choose one, I might just go blue, but it's really tight, really, really tight. It was all the way through. Great fight, great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, ring beat brings an end to about 242. With your judges ruling in favor of your winner, five points. Declare by split decision to the blue corner. And Tolteyev gets it. In the blue corner, four out of five judges went his way in that final round. Three two, three two split. That tells the story. That absolutely tells the story. Superb fight. Pinoch can count himself unfortunate to walk away a loser there because. It's a cliche in sport sometimes, but some cliches do ring true. It was one of those encounters where neither man really deserved to lose.
see some good displays in this lightweight division this evening so far.